All right, guys, what's up? I wanted to show you this for a while. This is my X pattern setup. This is what I use for Skyrim Special Edition. And this allows me to do so many things on my controller that, you know, usually couldn't do. So I have a few mods that's, that helps me make up this setup. I have Souls Quick Menu. I have One Click Power Attack. I have OSA and OSTEM. I have the Wheel Menu. Um, I have TK Dodge. And I have a true direct, true directional movement. So I changed a few keys. So my jump key is now the H key. And I changed, um, since spacebar used to be the jump key, I switched it to up on, on my D pad, which will lock onto enemies with true directional movement. So the, the right stick basically mimics the mouse. The Z key is the shout. So you click in R3 for that Q which is um, the PlayStation button will bring up the quick menu. I forgot to mention this is for a PlayStation controller. And if you press the big rectangle button, it'll press X, which is for your wheel menu. Control is for crouch. C, the C, which is my start button is for one click power attack. Um, the tab, which is on my uh, on the circle button, this will bring up the tween menu. And E is just, you know, interact. So you press the X button for that. And then um, Alt, which is L3, this is for my sprint. And then the stick, you know, mimics the WASD, which is the movement. And then the triggers mimic the left and right clicks. The U button is for my TK dodge. And the shift button is the button to allow my character to walk. So uh, the O button, which is down on my D-pad, will work for souls quick menu which will allow me to quickly cycle between shouts so i could do combos i'll try to show you that in game if i can and on x pattern you can go to a key as you can see i have three of them here that are highlighted blue it has a setting where you can go to advance and you could scroll down here to where it says set selector and you could put it to a certain number while held and if you do that it will bring up a whole nother set of hotkeys. So as you can see, I'll hold down the U, the U key, which is assigned to the left button, left, left bumper or L1. And it'll bring up this whole new set of hotkeys right here. So these are for like miscellaneous things like uh, the T is for waiting. L is to cut on my light for the quick light mod that I have. Um, this cross button will bring up the OSA menu. And then I have F1 and F2 over here. These are for my eating and drinking for uh, I needs. And then all of these over here is basically navigating through the OSA menu and um, and activating OSTEM and things like that. So <clears throat> as you can see here, I only have hotkeys one and two, but if I hold shift, it'll bring up the rest of the hotkeys. So three, four, five, six, seven, and eight as well as the F key to allow me to go back and forth from first person to third person. The B key, I can't exactly remember. Oh yeah, B key is for the left hand in Souls Quick Menu and B is for the right hand in Souls Quick Menu. So this will give me even more hotkeys. So I have the, the eight plus I have nine, 10 for the Souls Quick Menu. And then I have another mod that allows me to assign multi even more hotkeys using like other unused keys. So I have a uh, 13 and 14 with these two hotkeys right here. So, uh, and if I hold the E key and then press R3, it'll bring up the pause menu and as well as some other miscellaneous things. Like if I hold the E key and push left bumper, it'll allow my character to take off and put back on his helmet using the mod called read the room. So I have access to all of these things without even using the keyboard, just using my, my controller for X pattern. So we're going to go in game and I'm just going to show you how this works really quickly. All right. So here we are in game. I move around with the left stick for my WASD. I click in L3 to sprint and I can hit down on the D pad to cycle between my souls quick menu uh, favorite shouts. And up on the space bar will let me lock onto targets. I, I can't do it because it's not an enemy around right now. But just trust me on that one. 
Now, my hotkeys left, I have it for my sword and shield left on the D pad. You can group two items together using Sky UI, so that's what I did. I grouped my sword and shield together, and I did it with hotkey number two as well, which will group my staff and my uh, ward together. And then hotkey number three is if I hold down uh, R1 and then press left, it'll give me my fast heals. And if I hold down right R1 and then press right on the D-pad, it'll give me my, my energy bullets. If I hold down R1 and press start, it'll give me um, hotkey number five, which is my alteration spell of Oak, oak Flesh. Hotkey number six is my Draymoras. Hotkey number seven is my bow. And hotkey number eight is my greatsword. Now you could do all of these by just holding the right bumper to get access of hotkeys three through eight. And then also I have that mod that allows me to have some extra hotkeys. So if I hold right bumper and then push L3, it'll give me access to my other summon, which is my Lich. And if I hold R1 and press the PlayStation button, It'll give me my other spell, which is like the Order of Valor, which will power up a uh, nearby companion's damage by like 65%. So that's already like 10 hotkeys right there, right? Now I have some more hotkeys using the Souls Quick menu. So if I hold right bumper and then press, or R1 and then press left bumper, it'll give me access to my left hand Souls Quick menu key which allows me to do the aura of healing, which will heal all my nearby companions. And when I let it go, makes them invincible for two seconds. And if I hold R1 and press the back button or mode button, it'll give me access to my soul's quick menu right hand, which is this shield, all right? So that's like 14 hotkeys right there. And you could add even more spells to the soul's quick menu. I just chose to leave it at one for each hand for now and um, if I hold the X button and then press left bumper it'll allow my character to take his helmet off and put it back on and um, the circle button brings up the tween menu and then you just move, move your right stick around to mimic the mouse and if I hold L1 and then press start it will let me eat there you go for my uh, I needs and if I hold L1 and press R3 it'll allow me to drink there we go all right let me cancel that if I hold L1 and then press R1 it'll bring up the weight menu so now I can just wait. And if I push the middle rectangle button, it'll bring up my wheel menu. All right. If I hold R1 and then press the middle rectangle button, it'll bring me to first person or third person. And then the mode button is the crouch. All right, if I hold, what happens if I hold R1 and press the mode button? Oh yeah, it's my uh, other Souls Quick menu. All right, so pushing the PlayStation button will bring up the favorites menu. And if you hold left bumper and then push L3, you can bring up the OSA menu. Or, or the old stem menu and then from here you just while still holding down the L1 you just use the, the d-pad to navigate through here and then press X to you know select the different things that's here and anyway if you hold L1 and then, and then push in the middle rectangle button you'll get the OSA menu and then just continue to hold uh, L1 and then move up and down to navigate through the menus and if you pull right trigger, that's like to confirm. So you can go right here to like, you know, do different things. Check the different mods you have. 
And um, I think that's it. So yeah, that that's my freaking um, that's my X pattern setup. I th I think it's really good. You know, you have access to all of those hotkeys and the wheel menu as well. And um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, uh, I have the quick light mod. So if I hold L1 and then press triangle, you can see the lantern appears and it unappears. So and I also have uh, if I hold the X button and press the rectangle button, oops, I get my horse menu to pop up for immersive horses. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I could do all of this on a controller. I haven't even touched my keyboard except to hit the record button for this video. All right, so if you're still here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.